Hey everybody, it's Matt Powell with Promec.com here with Dr. John Landry from our Tilt program. Now that is transitional lethal tactics. So over 25 years in law enforcement, this guy knows it all. So he's going to be talking about something from the Tilt program, which is our civilian program, which is what to do if the gun doesn't run or the gun goes dry. So what, what are we looking at? Right. Well, Matt, the, the thing is, the good news is that if your gun does stop running, either through malfunction, you're out of ammunition, whatever the case may be, that you still have a pretty formidable weapon in your hand. Mm -hmm. All right. You have a piece of steel and or polymer and steel that used towards the correct tactical targets can stop the threat against you or at least get you room and get you out of there to get the gun running again. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the very easiest things is this is I'm presenting this it, for whatever reason it doesn't go bang. Uh, I have a threat in front of me. And of course, you want to use your other hand. To, to protect yourself and possibly make some distance. But if I go straight into what they call the suprasternal notch, which is this area of the anatomy right here, this is this piece of uh, just tissue over a hollow area, I can put this muzzle directly into that in a forceful manner, all right? The trachea lies behind there. So it's going to, uh, it's going to impair the airway and the breathing, mm -hmm. at least momentarily. And especially if you're used to a good, strong presentation, this really is a lot of this is a lot of force into that very vulnerable area. And I could feel it just a little bit. It's something that we teach in Promac, which is clawing down straight into the notch. Right. Except you're doing it with the a muzzle. Yep. Right. The muzzle of a pistol. So this might end it right there, but if not, at least it's it's something you can do. The other thing is too. Don't be afraid to attack the vision or the eyes. That's one of the things we talk about in the TILT program is the vision, the airway, the breathing, the circulation. Mm -hmm. So right into the eyeball. We're not trying to give them a black eye. This is going to do probably more damage than that, but this is a lethal encounter. Yeah. So right into the eyeball, either one, straight in, without even changing your position, your grip, or your orientation. If you have both hands, that's fine too. Okay. All right. So we're going notch. Right. Suprasternal notch. Vision. Vision, the eyeballs. Absolutely. What else do we have? Well, the other thing is uh, to, to, if you have a body target for whatever reason or it's the closest, you could go straight into right below the sternum is the xiphoid process or where the, the solar plexus is. Mm -hmm. So this can cause an involuntary, uh, basically, they lose their breath. You okay. know, the breath is knocked out of them because there's nerve centers there right in the center, right below the sternum. So, again, right into that as hard as possible. Remember, this is a lethal force encounter, not, a, not just a less lethal. And, you know, with the, with the firearm coming in, right, that's going to force me to move back, right. which gives you the ability. Then I can rake all the way up as to well. Work. That's correct. So you could be pressing Boom. and pressing. That's right, exactly. Here upwards to the face to the throat if they're still standing they're going to be moving back you're going to at least give yourself an opportunity to do something else or save your life kind of a little bit of a preview of what you're going to be getting with the tilt program that we got going on through promac make sure you go to promac.com and check it out um, you can check out dr john landry's bio there and see you know what he's done in the past you can start to get the ideas about what tilt is going to be this will give you some ideas and then you're you know, you're going to be able to bring it in for a seminar and get some good training on the civilian side. Like I said, there's a whole law enforcement program side that's already being done, but this is the civilian side of it for you folks that, you know, you're carrying it to work, you're carrying your vehicle, you've got it in your house, that when that malfunction happens in that conversational right. arm distance, what are you going to do? And these are some tips that you can use. I'm Matt Powell at Promac.com. This is Dr. John Landry at Promac Tilt. Thanks for watching and make sure you Subscribe below.